Hello and welcome. I know it's been a whole month since I have done any videos or anything like that, but that month that I was gone, I now have two art snacks box. Um, I think I'm only gonna have time for one, so if you want to see November's box, please make sure to tune in next week. But this week, we're gonna be getting into the October box, which I already ripped trying to open it and I opened it backwards. And it looks like we're starting off with some Bristol paper. I always love me a good Bristol board paper. Um, we have Speedball Bane Fang. Don't know how I feel about that name. But anyways, we got paper. We got this month's supplies. Don't need that anymore. And I haven't done an unboxing in a whole month. So I am excited. These don't currently matter because we like to see what we got and be a little surprised. We got a cherry dum-dum, yum. We got some India ink. So this is supposed to be the October box. So um, maybe they were prepping us for Inktober. It's some waterproof India ink. And then we got a Plum Chester uh, paint marker and the Plum Chester brand is an art snacks brand and we have another one so it looks like we got white and black and then let's see what goodies we have in here oh and another paint marker so we got three colors we have black white and red we have a Windsor and Newton um, multi-liner in cool gray I've never had any multi-liner that's not black so that's cool and then we have an ink brush looks like it is in purple and last but not least oh and last but not least, um, we have this nib holder pen thing with a very nice fine tip nib. And we have this month's sticker sticking with that Halloween theme of black and orange. Let's take a peek at the nib. Stick this on the end. Boom. And so I'm curious on what the nib is. So let's take a peek. So it looks like this is an extra fine semi-flexible tip that's perfect for drawing. Well, that's perfect. <laughs> so um, maybe we can do our inking with this in a mixture with the gray and see what we can do, maybe some different tones and whatnot. Why is the pencil bad at storytelling? Because he never gets the point. Ha ha ha. But as always, first things first, we must get to swatching. So, guys, the nibs are reversible. It goes from a um, three millimeter to a five millimeter. No, oh, does this come out? <gasps> it does come out. Oh, that's not the kind of nib I was thinking. So we have black. Let me see, thick and thin. I will wait for that to dry and then put the white on top so we can see how opaque it is. We'll jump in with the red one now. Like I said, I will wait to do the white because it is white paper, so really what are you gonna see? 
I don't know if there's any prepping with this one like the last ones. And yes, there is. You take off the ring and you pull off. Do you pull off the cap? I'm pretty sure you pull off the cap. Uh, no, no, that doesn't look right. I don't think you pull off the cap. <laughs> okay, does that, yay, that was actually really easy, okay. Oh, that's a nice purple. It's actually very Halloween-y because it's not super bright. It's like this nice dark tone and I like that it's a deep purple. And then, I mean, it's, it's a fine liner, right? So like, oh, it's a very dark gray. What does it say it is? It's a cool gray. Okay, so last we have this India ink. What is that for? What is that? I've never seen. Oh. Oh, yes, that's cool. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know how to properly use these, but it should, yep, give a nice small thin line. If I press hard, does it make it thicker? It does. Oof. This feels so nice because it is um, firm, at least for me. I mean, if you press hard, you can make some thicker lines and stuff, but it feels very nice. I kind of like the scratchiness of it. It's really enjoyable. Then lastly, I wanted to see how opaque the white was. And then we can jump into some brainstorming because honestly, I don't know what black, red, and purple is going to bring out. Although, I don't know why. I'm thinking of a vampire. Ugh. I hate prepping paint markers. Does this one not work or something? Ah, there we go. So it is semi-opaque because here you can see that it's kind of like a pinkish color now. Oh, that was not good. Was that still wet? Yep, that's not working. What about here? That's better. So you might have to do more than one layer because it does ah, pick up. See, you can see now it picks up the color from underneath unless it's that it just wasn't dry yet. And so it was picking it up because now my paint marker is like that pinkish color. Anyways, there's our swatches and let's see what we can come up with.
our October box Halloween theme made a vampire um, I do have November's box so if you want to check that out tune into next week's video and I'll see you guys then bye